This review is of Wolverine Mauler Hiker um, boot or shoe. I guess you could. It's a it's a high top shoe. Um, it has a composite toe, electrical hazard resistance, slip resistance, waterproof, 30 day guarantee, uh, carbon max, EPX, Durafoam. Um, this is a size 13 men's, and um, I just got these yesterday uh, off of Zappos after spending three hours trying to figure out with the uh, Zappos representative who is a wonderful, wonderful person, uh, and uh, decided, well, they look like they're really slip resistant and, uh, you know, very, very uh, good choice. In terms of comfort, uh, we both seemed pretty comfort, confident about it. So, and you will notice they do have these D-rings, which we both felt would be um, helpful in terms of both tightening the shoe up to fit your foot correctly, but as well uh, being able to react to your foot as it's moving within the shoe. Um, you know, uh, meaning that the the um, pressure would be adjusted because the slot on um, the laces could move freely within the D-rings. So I immediately popped these on in excitement thinking, oh, I've got work boots for my job at Amazon. And I put it on. And one of the reasons I also purchased this was because I had looked at the reviews and somebody had said that it had a wide toe box, which is this area in the front here. As soon as I put it on, I noticed that it does not have a wide toe box. And in fact, in this area right here, it's constantly rubbing against my toe. Um, the actual knuckle here uh, on this side doesn't seem to be bad, but I can feel it over here is, is rubbing as well. Um, so, you know, from a, a, view, a visual standpoint, it's not particularly attractive, but I don't care about that. I care about comfort and quality. Um, and sadly, just with it rubbing here and rubbing here and being on my foot, feet at uh, Amazon Air Source Center, I knew that I would be absolutely miserable in developing blisters and infections and stuff like that. So I can't keep these boots. I'm also noticing on this, uh, this one that it's uh, right up in here where the ankle is, uh, the, something is rubbing against my ankle. So I can't keep that. Um, it otherwise, you know, it, it seems to be, I don't know, um, aside from that problem, it seems to be a relatively uh, comfortable boot. I would still need to replace the insoles. Um, and now that I'm standing, I can also feel that there's, that the way the insoles fit in the front um, are pushing against my uh, big toe a bit from the bottom as well as the sides. Um, so it's kind of comfortable, but I certainly wouldn't want to have to walk around with it, with these for eight hours uh, with my super sensitive feet. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, nice boots, but not comfortable enough for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Just a little bit of additional information on these Wolverines. Uh, walking around some more, I did not feel like they were particularly comfortable on the bottom. Right here... It's really, the uh, material, although it feels soft inside, the material over here has been rubbing against the back of my ankle. Um, and I just am glad that I'm not choosing to keep these. Um, I also realized if you're going to be going through a high security air, uh, airport, kind of like TSA kind of gates, all this metal on here is going to be a pain in the butt because you're going to always have to take off your shoes with this problem. So uh, that is a definite consideration if you're going to be at, say, Amazon Air. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.